launching right into our first match of Losers Quarterfinals between Parsing and Boten. Two extremely good players that we've seen a few times already. Both good pools and in and Kim Boten a couple times already in this bracket. We'll have to see if Parch can take it over, if our Falco here can take it over our Falcon. Already, it seems like that might be the case. Killing already before even 30 seconds, but responding immediately. A stock off of both in half a minute. Extremely impressive already. an intense back and forth already. Only 50% setting these, but that kill move, that 50% means nothing if you're getting hit with that such a hard knee. Falca though, responding with one of his own signature back airs. And now it looks like we're at a two stock situation already. Only 45 seconds after the first pair of kills. Can Bowen asking Parched if you want to get all the way back to Grand Finals, you're going to have to go through me. Such a heavy wall of aerials. Parch though, letting... Ooh, but with another knee. Ooh, it's a brutal, brutal KO. Down airs, jabs, fares. There's no breathing room for either of these competitors. Raptor boost up air. Unfortunately, just barely not recovering high enough. Last dog situation of our first game. Arch still absolutely has the chance to take it, especially if he keeps up shine links and combos like these. Double down air. One away to 80 already. And that back air seems like it will take it. Excellent game one already. From this side of bracket. And heading over the fountain of dreams. Launching right into our first opening. Shine's already coming out. Laser's already coming out. Cares, knees. And unfortunately, it's going to be Kimboten's first stock falling. But we already know, he doesn't take that easy. Harsh, though, not letting him decide that for himself. Just giving him... All that damage right back in with a brutal spike. It's already going to be a second stock down. Yeah. Parch simply proving he's not to be methed so easily. Falco Illusion, though, not quite reaching, though. <laughs> Both fighters tossing each other back and forth across the stage. Such a brutal game back and forth. Falco Illusion. Will he be able? Yeah. Will Parch be able to secure Kimboten's third stock? Or will Kimboten take it all the way back? Force two stocks on each side. Up air, making it look like Parch is just letting. Yeah. Kimboten staying right, right close to Parch. But that might not be to his advantage, even if they both need to get in. If Kimboten's able to keep up that pressure, just call out all of Parch's options, still has a chance of winning this. Doesn't look like Parch is going to make that any easier. Two stocks to one now. <coughs> yeah. 
both fighters putting so much pressure on each other to act, to move. Left side seems to be opening up the all the space Falcon wants to prevail over Falco. Last stock situation, 62% on Falcon, but this is absolutely not unwinnable. Hold your breath, everybody. And that is our last game. Unfortunately, Parch just securing it with that brutal psych. However, this also means we get to go to game three. Seems our last game here will be on Yoshi's story. <laughs> Opening of this game, just as we've seen from both fighters so far, extremely brutal. Parch proven he has what it takes to take it over Kimboton. Back and forth with up, with up airs and up bees. Keeping up a relentless pressure game, throwing them across the stage, and that is our first stock gone. Close to 40 seconds. However, that isn't, that absolutely won't be for either of our competitors. Forcing Parch down into the blast zone there with a brutal string. Parch not taking that so easily. Spawning the lasers to a grab. For forcing him off the stage, and with a smash attack, that will be Kimboton's second stock down. Back in neutral here. Will that up to be what it takes to open up Kim? It doesn't seem like it this time. But with a knee, it seems like Parch is the one. Brought all the way back to death. Such an early stock to kill, such an early percent to kill out, but it'll take Kimboton right back up to the position he wants to be in. However, Parch similarly giving him no opening. Kimboton ripping it straight from Parch's grasp where he can, but that grab will keep him away. Seems like he's able to find his recovery, his opening, and now, and now, it's up to, oh, an unfortunate air dodge. However, the homestock brings us to a last stock situation. Hold your breath, everybody. Who's it gonna be walking away? Who's it gonna be walking away from the stable? And who's it gonna be moving on to loser semis? So close already. However, it looks like Kimboton will take it. Excellent game from both sides here. That is extremely impressive. Looking at the stats here, we see just a couple more openings for kill. Just a few hundred di difference in damage. Just slightly, just a slight difference in the earliest kill and the, in the latest death.